Hi, I'm Steve Jordan with Hurricane Aquasports. Hurricane is based in eastern North Carolina. Hurricane has been producing lightweight kayaks since 1998. Hurricane was the second company to introduce the ABS material to the industry. So Hurricane produces really lightweight recreational kayaks, lightweight sit-on tops, and lightweight uh, day touring kayaks. Uh, the kayaks are made of an ABS trilon material, which is our ABS plastic. Uh, I want to take you through one of our newest designs in our recreational lineup, which is called the Primo 125 Sport. We're real excited about this boat, and I think you're going to really like what you see here. The Prima is a Swede form design, and I'll talk a little bit more about what that design, hull design, is like and what, you, what are the benefits with that. Uh, if you notice the bow, you've got a really nice sharp entry in the bow of the boat. You've got some flare in that bow. That flare allows that boat to ride really nice and smoothly in little rolly, choppy kind of conditions. The Swede form design sits really nice low profile in the water. So you don't have much wind effect on this recreational boat. Uh, to talk a little bit about the hull design of the Prima, I talked about the Swede form. The Swede form shape is used a lot in high performance race boats and also down river boats. So this allows a recreational kayak to actually move through the water real efficiently and with good speed. A Swede form design, the widest point of the boat is actually behind the seat. And then it tapers really nice towards the bow of the boat to give you that good, efficient hull design. What you'll notice also in the hull is a very pronounced keel that runs down the center of the hull. That gives you excellent tracking, also gives you a very stiff hull design. Over on the stern of the boat, you'll notice it has a more pronounced squared off stern. That gives that stern a lot of purchase in the water and it allows it to to track really well and it's not going to get blown around very well in the wind. You'll also notice on this whole design as you move from the keel line out to what we call the chine of the boat. The chine of the boat is where the hull of the boat and the side of the boat meet. Some chines are soft, some chines are moderate, and some are a little bit harder. This one you'll notice got a little bit of a harder chine. You get excellent stability with that, but you also get the ability to carve a turn with that which is kind of unheard of in a recreational boat. In this type of design, as you're paddling the boat, you can do what we call an offside lean turn. You can slightly lean to one side, and the boat will actually start turning in the opposite direction. So if you lean left, you engage this chine, and the boat will start carving to the right. You love the way this hull paddles. Now, let's get to all the meat of this boat with all the deck features that you're going to have so much fun with and enjoy. If you start at the bow, let's walk, do a walkthrough of this. We've got really nice, comfortable handles, and these are injection molded. As you also move back, you'll see that we've got some lines that are designed into the deck of the boat. That gives it a really nice aesthetic appeal. It also gives you a lot of stiffness in the boat. We talked about the construction a little bit earlier. It's a two-part construction. We form the deck of the boat and we form the hull of the boat. This is called our lap joint. So we seam the deck and the hull together and you get a bomber construction with that. The adhesive we use actually chemically wells the plastic together. So you're getting a very stiff, rigid seam there. Some other deck features as we move back on this, you'll see a bungee cord configuration. Allows you to store gear under the bungee, any safety items, your dry bags. We've also got a little four and a half inch gear track in the center of the, the deck of the boat. You can attach a GoPro camera, you can attach a UPS uh, system, or you can attach your cell phone. Um, you'll also notice in the sport versions of the Hurricane lineup, when we call it a sport, it is a large cockpit. So this cockpit is 55 inches long, and it allows for easy entry into the boat. It also allows us to produce a nice lightweight kite. You don't have quite as much material. So if you've got bad knees or bad hips, it's really easy to get in and out of this boat. If you've got a small child or you've got your dog that you want to take on the water with you, you've got a lot of room right up in the front of the boat, okay? Some people feel a little claustrophobic getting in a really small cockpitted boat. So this is a very nice appealing cockpit size for a lot of paddlers. 
You also notice uh, we have some really nice pads on the cockpit rim of the boat. You can put your knees up against that. One of the biggest features on this Prima series is actually a frame seat. Um, this is called the first class seat. It's extremely comfortable. Uh, it has a nylon fabric that is breathable. It allows water to drain through. Really comfortable. You'll see a very generous seat back. Um, also, you can adjust and recline the seat back, or you can move the seat forward. Really cool feature in the Prima is that you can actually move the seat in a forward position or a back position. So if you want a little bit more room in the front of the cockpit, you can move the seat back about an inch and a half to two inches. If you're just paddling it solo, you can move the seat to a center position, which trims the boat real nice. Also, the interface pieces where the seat attaches to the boat has some nice features like a storage tray on the left side. You've got a water bottle holder here. And then the other nice thing about these interface pieces for the seat, they actually glue to the hull of the boat and then they attach under the deck of the boat. So it provides a lot of stiffness in this big, large, open cockpit area. A couple of other features is you can actually remove the seat of the boat and you can actually use it as a camp chair. But more important, you can take five pounds out of the weight of the boat. This Prima 125 Sport weighs about 45 pounds. So by removing the seat, you've reduced the weight of this boat by five pounds. You're down around 40 pounds on this boat. Nice and lightweight. Also, on the interior of the boat here, we've got our pinch and pull foot braces. Really easy to adjust and really comfortable. And then a feature that we offer in our boats that's a safety feature is we have an ABS thermoform bulkhead in the bow and we have a bulkhead in the stern of the boat. That gives you flotation in the boat. So it's an air chamber in the bow. In the back you've got an air chamber so you've got positive flotation. So if you were to capsize or you were to get water in the boat, it's only going to be in the cockpit area. Also, moving back towards the stern of the boat, Another feature you'll see is we've got a paddle clip. We really, we call it a taco paddle clip. And you take this really nice paddle, you can clip it right into there. Gives you really easy access to your paddle if you're doing any photography on the water. Um, also, a new feature for this boat is we've got a new ABS thermoform hatch. And it's a unique hatch. You can actually open the hatch from the cockpit and you can hinge it back. You can also close it. If you want to hinge it the other way, you can unlatch it from the stern and you can hinge it this way. So, you've got a very large opening so you can store a lot of your gear in there. I also recommend always use a dry bag. Um, it, you need to keep your items safe, especially if they're valuable. Get you a really nice dry bag to use in the boat. You've got storage behind the seat, on the deck, in the front of the cockpit also. On the, in the hatch. We also got a bungee con configuration on the rear hatch allows you to store items on the deck of the boat. You'll also notice we've got some little design features on the boat that allows any water that gathers onto the deck of the boat to actually drain out. Um, moving towards the stern of the boat, we've got the same handles we have on the bow of the boat, an injection molded handle, really nice and comfortable. So that's the Prima 125. Uh, the boat is 12 feet 5 inches long, 29 inches in width. The boat weighs 40 pounds with the seat, uh, without the seat, 45 pounds with the seat. Um, I think you'll really enjoy this boat. It retails for $12.99. You can see the Prima 125 and all the boats in the Hurricane lineup at HurricaneAquasports.com. Thanks for joining us.